Here in Las Vegas, we tend to get a lot of people in for various charges, the most serious obviously being murder. Also at the same time, we tend to get people in for a lot of alcohol-related charges. We do encourage people to come here and have fun and let loose, but at the same time, some of the decisions they make while they're here can be life-changing. What's the charges of the guy that you brought in? Uh, he's going to be booked for uh, DUI death, alcohol, and drugs. Yeah, uh, how do you take it? Uh, he doesn't know yet. He still thinks he hit a fire hydrant. Wow. All right, well, let's go tell him. Okay. <laughs> Come up, come up with us. Come here. Grab a seat real quick. We've got some kind of important information that we need to tell you, all right? You know you're in an accident tonight, right? Yes, sir. Uh, you didn't hit a fire hydrant. Uh, you hit another car, all right? You killed a man. Okay, so you're going to be booked in for DUI death, alcohol, and drugs. You understand your charges? Yes, sir. You realize you hit a car? I just hit a hydrant. How much you drink tonight? Three or four, three or four drinks. Three or four drinks? You sir. understand it's going to be a felony, right? Come on up with us. You watch window yet? Uh, three, I think. OK, go this way. We're going to go to window three. You want the low counter. OK. I think he's more in shock than anything, so we'll keep an eye on him and uh, have Psych talk to him and just see how he starts acting later on. I just ruined my life. I killed somebody. I, 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 you didn't have no idea that you hit another car until we told you? I didn't. I, <laughs> what was you out doing before the accident? I was at the club. I was, I was trying to drive home. I, I thought that I could. The antidepressants that I'm on now are, are changing my, my body. They're, they're changing my tolerance. When did you get on your least antidepressants? About four weeks ago. My life is over. Your life isn't necessarily over, but it's definitely changed. I was supposed to graduate in five weeks. I can't believe I killed somebody. Oh, God. All right, man. Well, listen, if you need anyone to talk to, if you need to use the phones to get a hold of your family, to talk to them, whatever, it's all available in the next room, okay? All right. Make a right. Right here. Face the wall. Face the wall. Thank you. You been here before, you say? Yeah. Cool. No. No, it's not really. You're uh, right. I got a son now, so. You have a son now? With that beautiful lady right there. What'd you guys do to come in here, then? She crossed over the wrong way on a street, and Where's there she... was a cop following us for a couple miles. He was waiting. Where's your son at, then? Oh, my grandparents have him. Mm -hmm. How old it's is he? Oh, he's, one, he's not one yet. This is his first Easter right now. Oh, man. Like that's some ish. That is. For you guys. I mean, Should have been at home doing the whole Easter egg well, that's thing today. That's what we were doing. We were planning on it. Go see. Uh, basically, just came on ship, conducted the car stop, and uh, they found some prescription drugs, uh, not without a or actually prescription drugs without a prescription on them, and uh, they recovered those drugs from them. Uh, the male half has a warrant out of uh, Henderson as well. Uh, he's with his girlfriend. She's never been arrested. She's 18 years old. I think he's 22. And uh, the funny thing about it is they were on their way to church for uh, Easter service, and uh, they were going to go in there high. Nothing like going to church high. I guess not. Wow. <laughs> Amazing. All right, man. Well, thank you. All right, no problem. <clears throat> yeah, go ahead. What are you here for? I don't know. I went into the wrong lane on the street that I didn't know very well when I was driving and got pulled over and got caught with marijuana. Is that all you guys have been using tonight? Is it marijuana? You guys had prescription pills without prescription oh, yeah. too, right? Xanax? Xanax too. Is this something that you guys commonly do on the weekends, go out and party like this a lot? No, not really. We have the baby most of the time. If you don't want to get your kid taken away, right? Yeah. I don't want to come back here. <laughs> the only thing that's going to happen from here on out is going to get worse. The more you come here, 
the more you're going to start going down that downhill, you know? So when you get out of here, make sure you take care of all your stuff and you don't have anything going to warrants like he did. You got to think about that little kid that's sitting at home right now. Yep, I miss him already. One's 22, one's 18. Hopefully they can be a little more responsible and uh, step up and, and take care of their kid. Copy of your charge going out this way. I know that you probably are just feeling a little off right now. It's all new news to you, okay? But if you feel like you need to speak to somebody, make sure you let us know, okay? All right? It's like I said, man, your, your life is not over. Your life has changed a little bit, but it's not over. A little bit? It's changed, it's, it's, it's changed okay? But it's not over. All right, and if you need to speak to somebody when you're out here, just let us know, okay? So uh, his life has definitely changed. The harsh reality of this is that this 22-year-old that was five weeks from getting his four-year degree is now looking at some serious jail time. Bottom line is he killed somebody and um, should have thought about that before drinking and driving. People that come in, it's really sad situations. However, day to day, to stay in a job like this, I mean, you have to find the humor, and, and it can be very entertaining. People that you deal with, you have to humor them, put them away, just get through the process, and then you go back and you start all over again every day. Okay. So, why were you brought in tonight then? Um, I'm not sure. You're not sure what were you doing when you got arrested? I, I took a right hand turn um, on a red. Um, are you then under the influence of anything? Did you have any drinks tonight? Is I had one Sapporo and one sake. What was the occasion tonight? And I got a job interview today. Oh, congratulations. What yeah, was it for? probably won't get it now, but. What was the job for? Paralegal. Oh. Did you wear that to the interview? Yes, I did. It looks better with the boots that I had on. No, 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 I'm sure. That's a cute outfit. Thank you. So one of the attorney's offices upstairs is trying to collect on me. They offered me a job. And so did the bankruptcy attorney that's representing me. They're both in the same building. Nice. So wow. it's been an exciting day. You have a good attitude about it. <laughs> I'd be out drinking, too. Just want to be driving. Oh, I, I, I had like one sake and one. I heard that's pretty strong stuff. Biru of Kodasai. Well, you know what? People make mistakes all the time. Uh, you have a good yeah. attitude about it, though. What am I supposed to do? Cry. Oh, uh, I've seen everything. No, we don't like criers. No. We like happy people. And you know what? I did that sobriety. I did that sobriety test. I could no, probably these do clown shoes. Right. One, two, three, four, five. Isn't it healed six, the toe? Seven. I didn't have enough for him to go nine. Then he had me do the da 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 all the way around, uh -huh. back around, then count one, two. Oh, you want to do it down? I think you're supposed to do heel to toe. Seven, Excuse us, officer. Nine. Pardon me if I'm We're doing work. a sobriety and test here. This thing again. It, Put your shoes back on. We're going to go take your blood. Okay. Proof is in the pudding, right? That's, That's right. right. In the, the blood pudding. I'm ready. Right here, ma'am. She was heading southbound on Durango, made a right-hand turn on a red light without stopping. Started quoting me the law, and I said, well, come on out here and uh, do some uh, field sobriety tests for me. Oh, she told us about the field sobriety test. She says that she really, uh, she rocked the, the, the hill to toe one, but she says mm -hmm. you didn't agree with her. Well, that was her interpretation. <laughs> All right, thanks so much. So you've never been arrested any time anywhere, ever? How old are you now? I can't believe he said that. that. Oh, we're in jail. We're allowed to ask that. It's I would have asked you that. He's got my ID. <laughs> 32 and a half. 49. Almost a half a century and never been in jail. Very back row. She's funny. Like your attitude, girl. Thank you. What is she here for? What's the charge? Um, taking vehicle without owner's consent, fictitious plates, no proof, possession of narco paraphernalia, stolen property, and wow, more. Wow, you were busy tonight, huh? Oh. 
When these cuffs come off, you're going to place your hands up on the wall. That's never happened to you before? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Oh, it has? You get in trouble a lot? I try not to. You try not to? You try not to get caught, is what you're trying to say. No, I try not to get in trouble. Got a couple of friends here, huh? Yeah, so actually, that one in your hand is already out. Well, this, yeah, this one's addressed to Henderson, but both mm -hmm. of these are here. No, they're both still here. You didn't have to put stamps on those. We could have just delivered them in person. Who's here that you know? Mm -hmm. Friends? Um, my baby dad friends. Baby daddies. All right. This row right here, go to the very last seat until medical can see you. Obviously been here a few times. She has a couple letters for inmates here at CCDC. So there's no reason to even put a stamp on. We put it the living for you. She had a stolen car. And then from there, it was, she just had everything else in her purse, all a bunch of checks and pipes and weed. She had a probation violation, too, for drug charges again. And she's still doing the same thing. Thanks. Does that say Willie? Yeah. Who's Willie? The father of my child. He's here. He's never got to meet my He's in here? You only have the one kid? You have three kids? And you're 22? Mm -hmm. Holy cow. How old were you when you had your first baby? 15. How long have Billy been in jail? A little over a year. What for? What's his charges? Kidnapping. Uh, Is that against Kidnapping you? first degree with his deadly weapon. Is that you against know? you? No. no. Him and my other babies that are co-defendants. My best. Um, partners in crime that I ever had was my two baby sets. <laughs> All right, just have a seat in the back row. Three kids total, different fathers. It's just sad. What were you doing tonight? You're on probation. I just, I just want to understand. I was hustling. Tomorrow's my baby's birthday. I want her to have presents. I She's want... only a year. You're out trying to hustle some money. <laughs> we wish you the best of luck. We really do. Oh, belly button piercing, nipple piercing, stuff like that. Have a seat right there. Go ahead and take that jewelry off in your hair tie. Screw on so it's going to be a slow That's process. That's okay. Sorry. I got all night. <laughs> so do I, apparently. Wow. Yes, so do you. <laughs> so what do you think about our jail so far? You liking the experience? Well, I like the people. She likes the it's the people that make a place. Don't Excellent. You think? I think so. Mm -hmm. Can you document this, please? Yes, it's all getting documented. You're going to sign for it, too. Come on over here. All right. Good luck to you. Have a seat in the first row on the right hand side. That's the girl's side. Don't talk to the boys at all, okay? Excellent. All right. Good luck to you, okay? Thanks. I don't think she'll be back. I think she's learned from her mistake, so. But you never know. We'll see how what happens. 